Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is the first entry into winning the $500 grand prize. So the rules will be, I will be no closer than the edge of that garage door. The target will be no closer than the edge of the building. We're going to shoot it with several different projectiles. Whoever makes it the farthest down the list will win the $500. So we're going to start off with 45 auto. Let's go check it out. It did not enter the barrel. It does appear to have, have, have had a pass through though. Can't really tell, because this was a different shot from another time. I think it caught it. Just to be safe, we'll move on to the next level. All right, so we got our first body armor submission, and what the point of this project is, is one, so you guys can have a chance to win a prize. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm stuck on a $500 prize. I was going to do some sort of gun giveaway, but it's weird because most of the guns I have are not legal in, like, California or Illinois, so it would make those people not able to get the prize, so I think it's just going to be like a $500 cash prize. The whole point of this project is is to discover the best way, the easiest way to make homemade body armor that will withstand a beating. So this particular submission weighs six pounds. So it's actually three pounds underweight because the rules are it must be nine pounds or less, less than five inches thick, and it must be tw 10 by 12. This one is 13 by 11, so it's definitely a legal plate for this contest. What are my predictions? Well, unfortunately, I didn't realize this was the plate itself and it came inside of a package, so I actually started opening it right here, so I had a peek inside of it. I got it retaped together because I'm like, oh crap, I know what that is because I didn't know what this was. My prediction looking at how it's constructed, it'll make it up to level four of the test. Uh, if you're not familiar with the test, I'll have a link in the description. But I think it'll breeze right up to level 4 without any problems. It'll take something past level 4 in the test to be able to penetrate this. Again, it's just a guess. We'll have to wait to get out there and try it. I want to actually roll in how you guys are making the armor. This way the audience can learn from that and get good ideas. I was not given any contact information or any way to find out his making video. What I'd like you to do is make the armor, put it on YouTube, and then I'll share it on my channel. So hopefully this guy will recognize his plate and then get a hold of me, and then I'll just put a link to how he made this in the description of this video. But in the future, I would like to roll that into the video so you guys can watch and get ideas from it. Alright, so next we're going to be hitting with a 7.62x39 full metal jacket. On the 45 looks to have passed through the plate, but it did not puncture the barrel. I can't tell for sure without a puncture. So we'll just move on to 7.62x39 and see how it fares with that. All right, so this marks two inches off from the side, so that is a legal hit. And that definitely went into the barrel, so we did get a pass through. And it came out the other side. So this would be what I would call a level 1.5 plate because it almost made it past level one. I'll have to cut it open to confirm if it did or did not catch the 45 slug. I think it did because there's no hole in the barrel, but I won't know for sure until I cut it open, but AK definitely went through. All right, Cal from California. Uh, there was no hole in the barrel, so I'm assuming the 45 slug is still in there, plus there's a nice little bulge. So what we're going to do is attempt to recover the 45 slug and get a better idea of how you made your armor. And remember, you can submit multiple times. It's not a one-time only thing. 
So if you'd like to submit another one, that is totally fine. It looks like there's some sort of fiberglass or possibly Kevlar for the makeup. Then definitely some sort of ceramic. The good news is it did stop a 45 slug. There's also another material in here. Kevlar possibly? Hard to tell. Hopefully it's not asbestos because I'm breathing a lot of this in. Definitely some hard stuff. I'm surprised it didn't do a lot better. That feels like the bullet path. Where is the slug? Fall out the back side? And honestly, this is some pretty lightweight stuff. Well, I can't find the slug, so I don't know if it fragmented or maybe it came out just enough to bounce off the barrel, but it didn't penetrate the barrel. So I'm going to count that as still stopping it. So right now you are the winner and you've made it to level one. We'll have to see if somebody can beat you or not. Can't believe I don't have a mark for the market. L1. All right, so I had my first entry from Cal from California. It made it to level one of the test. So basically to beat him, you gotta be able to stop a 7.62 by 39. Now he used a design I've seen used on YouTube before, which is ceramic tiles glued together and a sandwich pattern, which is really starting to make me doubt the authenticity of those videos, because those videos were stopping everything from like 5.56 to everything. And his was just good enough to stop a 45 APC. So if you want to win the $500, currently all you have to do is be able to stop a 7.62 by 39, which isn't too hard to do. So bring your entries in, uh, send it to this address right here. Again, you don't have to just submit one address because the whole point of this is to help us better understand homemade armor, what really actually works and what doesn't, and go from there. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to submit your entry. This address right here. Also, don't forget to subscribe.